Hey everyone, Larry from the Basement here. Today we're going to talk about Star... Stardew Valley Update 1.6 will be launching on PC... Right, Stardew... Our beloved Stardew Valley is getting a new update and I am sure Somebody you are all no, just no, as excited as we are. In the past couple months, the Stardew Valley update has been an inescapable reality for us gamers. Even me, the RTS expert, has been bombarded with news and YouTube videos about the game. Of course, there's no problem with being excited for new game content. In fact, I'm also eager to see what kind of new and mundane gameplay mechanic the developer will add. Could he make it closer to real life and add dishwashing, basement cleaning, or nagging moms? All the YouTubers are also talking about possible new game mechanics and giving tips on how to play the game. But of course, part of the fun of Stardew is having the freedom to figure out your own path, which makes the only right way to play the game the road you pave yourself. So, listening to all these YouTubers' hints and tips is almost like letting them steal half the game from you. Instead, you should let yourself be swept away by the everyday tasks and ordinary farming activities. Much like this lady planting some little trees. Or uh, this lady putting down some nice little fences. Or uh, this guy naming his chickens. See? Uh... What? That's that that that's not that's not how you name your chickens. Could it be that no one has made a video on chicken naming yet? Oh. Oh no. Clearly someone needs to make a video explaining to people how to name their chickens. It looks like I got my work set out for me. Let me go get my teaching cap. What? My teaching hat? It's nice, right? This part hanging off it? Oh, that's just a light. It's a precaution in case of a blackout. Most teachers need to wear these for safety. See? Safe. How to name your chickens in Stardew Valley. Picture this. You redownload the dusty copy of your Stardew Valley sitting near the bottom of your Steam library. You start a new file. Make your character. Looks good. But come to an inescapable conundrum. Whatever will I name my chickens? <laughs> You ask yourself, do not fear. Larry is here. I will teach you the secret tricks to naming your chicken for a smoother and more comfortable playthrough of Stardew Valley. First is preparation. If you aren't prepared for chickens, then you won't be able to name any at all. Therefore, it's critical to consider coop placement. If the coops are too close, you won't be able to move in and love the chickens. It might not seem like much of a problem when you're in spring and you only have about six or seven chicken coops. But once you get to winter and you're pushing 14 fully upgraded coops, space is going to be a factor. It's best to nip the problem in the bud while you can. After you've prepared the coop, you'll be purchasing your first chicken. Remember, you're going to have a lot of chickens, and I mean a lot of chickens. If things are going well, you can expect almost 200 chickens by the end of year one. And so, if you're naming them all like this idiot here, you're in for a long game. You need to aim for variety. Okay, now it's time for the substance. This here is a whiteboard. I'm going to use this to help illustrate some of the more complicated concepts in naming. Why don't you take out a pen and some paper and let's take a look at some examples together. Here we've got our first chicken, Gormama. Now, what did I do here? Well, as you can see, I first thought of the name 
Mama, which would have been a perfectly average name. Maybe a better name than a person, but that's beside the point. Mama would have been a perfectly average name for a chicken, sure, but it doesn't quite hit hard enough as an actual name. However, adding the gore in front of Mama strengthens the name feel of Mama. And, as you can see, the five-hearted chicken is more than satisfied with this outcome. Now, let's move on to this one. Uh, actually, uh, let's, let's maybe work our way up to this one. Aha, there you are, Sack. Sack is one of our favorites. An amateur may take a look and think, Sack isn't a name, it's a thing. But I would disagree. Sure, if you named your chickens like Cheese, Seed, Sickle, or Sack, your neighbors may start to think that farming has driven you mad. But put little Sack next to her buddy Gormama, and suddenly you've got a lovely little flock of chickens. Alright, next chicken. This is little Leafin. Why is he called Leafin? It's because he's always leafing about, of course. One of the simplest but most often neglected naming strategies is using a verb ending in ing to describe the personality of the thing being named. This is most effective when dropping the name's final g. For example, naming a fish glubbing sounds a little stiff, but drop that g and call him glubbin and you got a happy little fish friend right there. Now, let me ask you a question. Do you like having fun? If so, then you can name your chickens after some sounds and beats, like Shimadopop and Kemdidododo. If it sounds like it could be made into a song, then it can be made into a name. Yes. Um, now, it's time to get a little creative. What if you just want to make a simple but original name that doesn't apply to any of the previous rules we've talked about? Well, take a look at Gsurth. Gsurth's name was created by using the consonant vowel rule. This is a simple to use naming method where you alternate consonant sound, vowel sound, then consonant sound again. You can make all manner of creative names with this method. If you're daring, you can even get a little bit more creative, like I did on the end here, and do a double consonant or a double vowel sound. Thanks, Gsurf! Uh-oh, now it's time to start getting a bit more complex. This is Furla Magoo. Something you may not have noticed up until now is that most keyboard characters can be used in chicken naming. Here, I've used spaces to separate different parts of the name. In this way, you can combine previous rules together for a completely new kind of name. You can even add a particle or possessive pronoun to enhance the name. Alright, let's see. Chuki, Rata Mintai, Pennert Linkmf. Truly the key is variety. Malimpa, Samicia, Sigardo, Roo, Prepodaddle. Aha, I've been looking for you, very cool thanks. This is very cool thanks. And his name beautifully illustrates another rule. Though it should only be done sparingly, naming your chickens using phrases can be a nice break to the usual naming system. I must emphasize though, not to use it too often. Okay. All right. Thanks. Very cool. Thanks. Oh, of course. Uh, now let's take a look at little I was an egg. Another rule we haven't talked about yet is chicken puns. Now, much like phrases, this method should be used sparingly. But when the moment strikes, put a spotlight on your chicken's appearance and situation by making a pun about it. Here, I've taken the reality that this chicken was born from an egg. Good talking to you, I was an egg. All right, let's speed through it a little bit. Here we go. Uh, me to you to snanuima ka. Uh, yeah, that wasn't me. Oh, so the great part about these naming rules is that it works on big chickens as well. 
So coming down here, you can see I have my big chickens and their names keep with much of the same naming conventions. And you can clearly see the effect of it. Look how many brown things my big pink chickens are making. Not only that, but my milk chickens and horn chickens make my pockets overflow with milk. It's a little wet, but profitable. All this can surely only happen with a well-named flock. Now that I've taught you the coveted rules of chicken naming, it's time for you to go out into the world yourself and name your own chickens. Don't worry if you have some trouble at first. Most of my students have to name about 100 chickens before they start to get a hang of it. If you want to practice, feel free to comment a chicken name below and get some feedback from myself and your peers. Don't forget to let us know which type of chicken you're naming. We have black chickens, woolly chickens, bouncy chickens, pink chickens, milk chickens, horn chickens, and chicken chickens.